um, at Market, the UK Board Games Expo 2018. I'm with James, and he's going to talk to us about the crisis. Hello, indeed. So, crisis is a game about uh, a country, well, in crisis, in economic crisis. Uh, this country is also part of an economic union which tries to help the country but also enforces a strict austerity plan. Yeah. So this is mainly a resource management, worker placement, heavy drug game, uh, which is also semi-corporate okay. because the players' actions actually uh, influence the economy of the country and they might uh, help it or they might hurt it. Yeah. So at the end of every round there is an evaluation and the, as I said before, the austerity plan set a certain goal yeah. for the players and uh, if the players' uh, points are above that goal, yeah. then that Just will uh, help improve the financial status of the okay. country. Yeah. But if they are below, then this will decrease the financial status of the country. And if the financial status reaches zero, then the country will go bankrupt right. and it's everyone loses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, but of course, the actions that uh, cost the uh, points, they give you more advantages, so there's always a balance. So the risk is, do, I'm going to knock that down, and people at every other table are going to be annoyed with you because you've just knocked it down, but other than that's helping you. So it's how much can you balance against everybody else? Exactly, exactly. That's good. But the thing is that if, uh, if at least one player has uh, achieved the goal for yeah. that round, even if the country goes bankrupt, then yeah. that player will win, actually. Oh, okay. So I can't... Uh, uh, yeah. I can't if I'm losing, I can say, okay, yeah. fuck it, uh, we will uh, just uh, uh, hurt the economy. Yeah. That's it. Uh, so, uh, how the game goes is we have these managers yep. and we place them in all those spaces on the board in order to take these actions. And uh, what we can do is we can invest in new companies and take them in front of us like that with controlling them. Yep. We can hire employees to use in these companies. Yep. We can uh, buy resources, sell resources, export them okay. abroad to get more points and gold. Uh, get uh, loans so to get even more gold yeah, for yeah. A, a, you know, like immediately. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Now the the, the interesting <laughs> thing is how the the companies operate. So you need certain employ employees of certain types in order yeah. to operate them and also some resources usually. But if you also have more of certain other types, then you can increase their output because okay. normally this uh, company produces two uh, of those resources. <laughs> but if you manage to have bonus employees there, like that, yep. then it can produce up to five. Okay. Which is, uh, you know, yeah, that's better, yeah. yeah. And uh, at the end of the round, we also try to pick those uh, export contracts yeah. in order to sell the resources that we produce and get money and points to help us reach the goal. Okay. Um, so, putting on the spot, what would you say is your favourite thing about this game? Um, mm. What's the one thing that makes you... I really love this game because of its heaviness. You know, yeah. you need to plan ahead a lot. I mean, everything in the game, you need to take it into account from at least one round before. Yeah. For the export contracts, you know, for the companies, these resources, if you produce them from other companies, you can't use them immediately. You need to have them from the start of the production phase. So in everything, you need to think ahead. Okay. So this isn't available for at the moment, is it? What's the, no, what's the plans to get it to, get it to people to buy? Well, uh, the, actually, uh, the Kickstarter campaign, the second Kickstarter yeah. campaign for that ended about a month ago. Okay. So it is in production now. Yeah. It will be available around Essen Spiel. Okay. But uh, the late pledges are still open. Uh, okay. For anyone okay, that's great. Well, thanks very much for your help, Jane. Uh, I've been Mark for Booker Opinions.